Are you tired of hearing that the only way to get fit and to kickstart a new fitness regime is to hit the gym or pound the streets and doing loads of running? What if I told you there's a more simple way, a much more enjoyable way to kickstart your fitness? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. So in today's video, I want to take you from field props, static and sedentary to doing very little to actually being actively mobile and exercising regularly. You might be confused about what exercises you should do to get started and what's going to give you the best benefit for the time that you dedicate to it. Um, so I'm going to clear all that up and make sure that you're doing the right things in the right way at the right time, okay, so that you're no longer confused. Because sometimes when we're confused, or quite often when we're confused, it just becomes overwhelming and actually we end up doing nothing because we're like rabbits in a headlight. Okay, so I want to cut through all that. So like I've covered before, you know, they say that sitting is the new smoking. Now, obviously I'm sitting now. That doesn't mean I'm just going to develop lung cancer straight away. But what, you know, doing too much sort of sitting around and not enough movement can, you know, will, will increase the chances of you developing lifestyle related issues. It becomes a vicious cycle where you've got declining energy levels and vitality because you're doing less, so you want to do less, so you do less, so you want to do less more, and it just becomes like a downward spiral. You will become more and more detached from everyday life. I've met and coached thousands of people that are rarely leaving the house because that's just the rut they've got themselves into. So, you know, if you don't do exercise, if you don't start moving the body, these are all things that can, that is coming your way. And then just think about all the missed opportunities. I mean, you may well be, you know, missing out on stuff now because you're no longer fit enough, you know. You've, there's so many different amazing places to visit and things to do and people to meet and, and, and you know, you, your grandkids to play with, your kids to play with and family activities and just walking out in nature and you're missing out on all these things because of a sedentary lifestyle. Now, the good news is that all this can be changed. You know, we we read about and see amazing stories how people have completely changed their lives all the time. And that's exactly, you know, the opportunity that uh, that you've got. Okay, so you can change it. It just needs a little bit of guidance and a little bit of dedication and your life can be completely different in six weeks. So quite often I get this question about, you know, what exercises should I do? You know, I go to the gym, but I'm a little bit, a little bit unsure as what I should do. And, you know, tell, tell me what to do. Okay. And people want this half a dozen exercises that are just the best things to get going and to, to boost weight loss, to boost fitness in the quickest time. And in, in all reality, I just want to come back a little bit of a step because there's a load of there's a lot of exercise and activity that you can do that, that doesn't have to be scripted exercise. Some people are absolutely, you know, daunted by the fact of walking into the gym. They're ashamed, embarrassed, confused, don't really know what to do. Okay, and it's, it's an added obstacle for me. You know, now you can build up to hitting the gym and being an absolute gym bunny, gym expert or whatever. But when you first get started, first kick, you know, you're first looking to kickstart your fitness and, and what have you. Okay, you don't have to just hit the gym. We've got this idea that that's what exercise is. You don't have to be pounding the streets for an hour and hours and hours, especially if you're on the bigger side and, and running hurts. You know, it hurts your joints. It's just uncomfortable to get out there and run. But we sort of think, you know, I've got to be running, got to be running, got to be hitting the gym and all this because these are like prescribed types of exercise. Now, actually, there's a much more effective way of burning calories. What I'm talking about is called NEAT exercise. So NEAT is non-exercise attributed thermogenesis. So this is like burning calories just from general day-to-day -day movement, not necessarily from exercise. Examples would be... Cleaning the house, walking to the you know to the supermarket to the shops, taking the you know walking the kids to school, walk walking during your commute, taking the stairs instead of the lift, you know, bloody just a ton and ton of different stuff. Now, the amount of calories that you can burn through neat movement should not be underestimated. You know, the majority of calories you are burning now is coming from your day-to-day -day sort of movements. It's not your hour in the gym. When you look at how much, how many calories you can burn at an hour in the gym or, or, or on a 40-minute run or something like that, actually, it's not a great deal. But when you look at all the neat stuff that you do throughout the day, you know, whether it's cleaning, cooking, washing the car, 
doing the gardening, you know, all these things, the amount of calories are just, are just huge. You know, you combine that with a controlled nutrition plan and you straight away you can start to make some massive, massive changes. Now I have a little model, as I always do, just to kind of help explain this and, and the model this time is, is neat. So I'm gonna go through that and describe each little section in turn. So the N, okay, stands for navigate your interests. Okay, there's nothing worse than someone saying to you, right, you must do one hour of bloody free weights this time of day. And I don't, you know, it's, it, so for some people that's too overprescribed they hate the idea of weights, they haven't got the knowledge, they haven't got the experience, and it's, again, it's just a massive obstacle to getting started. So think about what you do like. You know, a, a real example I always give is, you know, Paula loves nothing more than whacking bloody 80s music or ABBA on the bloody smart speaker while she's cleaning the house and she's dancing around and singing and she just loves it, you know? She loves sort of cleaning the house Anyway, it always makes her feel so much better. She loves that music and it always kind of gets her moving. And this is neat exercise. So navigate your interests to start off with. You know, what do you enjoy doing? Do you enjoy walking, swimming, taking the dog out? You know, do you enjoy gardening? Do you like window shopping? You know, there's just so many different things that you could do where you're on your feet, you're stood up, you're kind of moving around and you're burning calories by doing things you want to do. You know, if you love walking the dogs or playing in the park with the kids or whatever, do more of that, you know, do more, make sure you're doing it every day, you know, do more of it, look for different ways to increase the intensity, maybe you can carry your, your, your kid on, on your back or whatever, you know, maybe you can carry a little backpack with some, you know, bits of stuff in there just to increase the weight a little bit and just look for ways to progress and to burn more calories, doing the things that you actually love doing, okay? If you've got stuff that springs to mind straight away, make sure that you share them down below and then anybody else watching this video can have a look and they can get some ideas too. E then is elevate your general activity. So we need to increase your general activity. So if at the minute you're walking and you're getting like 2,000 steps, all right, look for tomorrow, look at how you can get 3,000 steps, 4,000 steps, 5,000 steps. Constantly be looking at ways that you can elevate the amount of activity that you're generally doing now. If you do 20 minutes of gardening, how can we do 30 minutes, 40 minutes? You know, and just by gradually increasing it bit by bit, what we're doing is we're, we're giving our, our lifestyle and our general you know, routines, time to adapt to those extra bits of activity that we're doing, okay? And thereby making it much more easy that we're gonna sustain it, okay? So the E is elevate your general activity that you're doing right now. So if you've watched previous videos or I talked about tracking it and getting a baseline, now it's about looking for ways just to keep notching it up, notching it up, notching it up. And A, hand in hand with that is adjust gradually. Don't, you know, if you're doing 2,000 steps now, don't think, right, I'm gonna go for 20,000 steps tomorrow, 10 times the amount, because you, you'll just really struggle for the time. It might be too much physically for you to do, it might be too demanding, you know, and all right, you might have a massive day, but if it puts you out for two or three days, it has an adverse effect, okay? So look at just adjusting things gradually, bit by bit, and just make sure it's smart. It might be, you know, go up 10%. Recently, I was getting ready for a race, okay? And every time I run, I was looking to increase what I was doing by 10%. So say I did a, you know, an hour's run, the next time I run, I'd do 66 minutes instead of 60 minutes. That's just 10%, an extra six minutes, it's not too much. After that, the next thing I did, you know, increased it by another 10%, another 10%, another 10%, just gradually increasing bit by bit. And there, you know, what, what happens is you eventually end up with like a compounding effect of those gradual increases. So you're moving loads, you're burning loads of calories and you're getting great results. Instead of just going, right, that's it, bang. Trying to do too much too soon. It just doesn't last, okay? Uh, and then the T of NEAT is track your progress. Now, I talk about this every day, about tracking stuff and keeping a tally, being honest, you know, because when we start to track stuff, we start to improve stuff. And it'll also, by tracking it, it'll cause you to reflect on how things have gone that day, what's worked well, what's not worked well, what you could do better. And it'll also allow you to plan the following day, okay, so that it just... You, you, you're proactive now instead of being completely reactive over everything that you're doing, okay? So that's the four-step framework that I was talking, that I uh, I want you to learn today and to consider. Um, 
And, and, and the metaphor that I want to use to explain this is, you know, think back to when you was a kid and you were perhaps your most active that you've ever been. You know, you never sort of went to the playground and thought, right, well, I need to do 10 reps of, you know, I need to do three sets of 10 reps of monkey bars and I need to do, you know, 10 reps of the big slide and I need to do six reps of the tree climb and all this kind of, you just went and played and you just enjoyed it and you was moving, you know, all the time, just by having fun and and this is far more enjoyable for a lot of people when especially when you first get started than doing a prescribed training program where you're like I am bored I don't really know what I'm doing people are watching me it's just a bit freaky you know it can be too much now you can work up to that and there will be some people watching this that love a class you know they love spin they love hitting the gym or whatever and that's great if it is but then there'll be a lot of people that just you know it's a bit alien environment for them so all i'm saying is there's different ways to do it and, and overall when you especially when you first get started it's much better to increase your base level of neat activity than to try and offset everything that you're eating drinking you know and absorbing through exercise through your hour 40 minutes exercise in the gym because it just doesn't work out that the, the maths isn't there now we'll be talking about this much more in future videos so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet make sure you do it will help let me know that i'm on the right track with this kind of information okay and it also help get this information to other people out there that are perhaps struggling to kickstart fitness and weight management so just a little bit of context around you know around what i'm talking about now and and, and your whole health and fitness kind of lifestyle is and exercise really is the cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle. Um, it's not about big, heavy workouts, you know, four or five times a day. You know, they're, they're, just, a, they're just a drop in the ocean compared to the, the general activity that you can squeeze in. Whether, you know, you've, I'm looking now at my, my desk, I have a sit down, stand up desk, you know, aim for more time stood up. Um, I've got exercise, bits of exercise kit in the corner, you know what I mean? I can just aim to do an extra... 20 minutes on that, I'll lift a few weights, throw a kettlebell around, you know, all these little bits over time can be much more beneficial in regards to burning calories and getting moving than, you know, than your 40 minutes in the gym where you're not really, not really doing much, okay, so uh, it certainly doesn't offset, like I said, all the crap that you can consume during the day. Okay, so how can you kind of implement this today? Okay, a couple of things, I'm just going to read off my list got a terrible itchy nose. I think I've got some kind of allergy. So what can you do? Uh, I'm just going to read off my list. Okay, a couple of things to get you, to get you going. Um, what to do next? Reflect on what activities you love or are curious about. You know, it might be something that you want to do. Stand up paddle boarding for me. I'm like, okay, I'd just love to do more of that. Organise it. Go and give it a go. You know, it could be a great activity. Um, invest in a basic tracking tool or app. Okay, whether it's a little diary and you jot things down, whether it's a fitness tracker like Strava or something like that, a whoop band, whatever it is, but just get yourself a tracker because when you start to see like a baseline, then we can go, right, okay, now I just need to do 10% more, 5% more, whatever you're comfortable with, just marginal, you know, gradual increase as you go along. Um, make sure that you're setting uh, a, a, an initial sort of, daily level of what you want to achieve whether it's steps whether it's you know minutes dancing whether it's distance you know whether it's time allocated to that activity like gardening you know i want to do two two hours of gardening or or raking the leaves or cutting the grass or whatever okay but set them goals because once you set them goals your brain will look to confirm that you're achieving those goals. You, 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 your brain is a goal achieving machine, you know? So if we input that into our brain, then we'll be looking for ways in which we can achieve it. Uh, next thing is share your journey with a friend or an accountability partner. I've said throughout this week that I'm looking at setting up a little group, specifically people that are, uh, that are watching these videos and are taking stuff from these videos. If you're interested, stick it in the comments or reach out, you know, and it'll help me just get it going a little bit quicker. And remember, the goal is consistent movement. Yeah, it's not for a blast here and a blast there and all that kind of stuff. And mega exhaustive workouts that you just, you know, they just don't infuse you and that kind of stuff. All right. Consistent movement throughout the day. In essence, I just want you to rediscover the joy of movement. Now, if you're getting started with a fitness 
and weight management program, you're looking to kickstart something new, then no doubt you've got questions about what you should eat when you first get started. And if that's the case, you want to check out this video where I talk about that.